going on everybody and thanks for stopping by today we're going to do a diy type video uh got the safety glasses on here what we're going to be doing is got some boards out and we're going to be building a diy ladder stand uh this is kind of something that i've used almost religiously when hunting public property and stuff like that uh with the current price of lumber it used to be a lot cheaper to make these but you could still do one for easily well under you know 100 bucks uh depending on the height of your stand you could use like two by fours you know if you're doing about an eight foot stand that's perfectly fine i'm using two by six i'm gonna be making a 12 foot stand uh so i mean if you're doing anything over eight feet i would probably bump it up to a two by six it's just gonna have a little bit more a little bit more support a little sturdier you can river dance and stuff like that on it uh now it is gonna make the stand a little heavier to carry in and out but i would rather have a little heavier stand and then not have to worry about your two by fours doing one of these as you're walking up and down it. Uh, now for materials to make this, uh, I'm going to be using four boards. I have two legs. Let me bring the camera around here. Got two legs here. And then I'm going to be cutting one board up into 12 one foot sections. Those are going to be the rungs as I go up the ladder. Um, and I'll show you pretty much how I secure that it's gonna be pretty straightforward pretty pretty common sense if you will and then i'm going to use another board that i'm going to chunk up and frame out the top and that's where the osb is going to go you can use plywood uh it doesn't really matter but i'm just doing that frame up top uh, it's gonna be a little heavier duty than i've used in the past but that's just extra security um you know then you don't have to worry about anything getting water damage and getting flimsy and stuff like that so enough talking let's get in the building So we got the frame of our ladder put together. Uh, pretty much what I did was I came a foot off of foot in off of each board, and just to get my make sure my boards are all squared up and even and everything across. Uh, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a foot between each rung all the way down. Now you don't have to do a foot; you could do pretty much whatever distance you want. I'm doing this just to keep a little bit a little bit of a skinnier ladder going up uh you could also put your boards on end uh like instead of i just lay my flat across just for a little better foot surface uh but you can put those boards on end and run those all the way up uh one of the reasons why i didn't put mine on end is because i'm using two by sixes going across and that would just be a pretty big indicator that there's something there that would just look out of place so i'm the guy gonna have enough going on here so by keeping these flat and going across, I'll keep a little bit of a lower profile uh, as it's silhouetted and stuff like that. But I'm going to go ahead and get these boards uh, put on all the way up, space these out, and then we'll uh, get into the top here. Alright, so here's the top that I have framed out. Uh, this is running just about 24 inches front to back, and I'm running 32 inches side to side. And what I wanted to do here is make my cut. This is going to be, this is the center of the top, this is the back of it, and this is what's going to rest against the tree. And what I did, since this is 32 across, I went halfway to 16, put the speed square, so it's at the halfway point, and then I went down to 45 degrees and just did 45 on each side. And that's uh, this first cut here. I was, uh, this is about three and a half inches. This was just, that's not enough bite. So I remarked it and this came out to a little under five inches to the peak. But then I'll make my cut and this will be the back. This is going to rest against it. And then I'll just frame out around the top of this. I mean, I'm not going to have any support here on the backs. But I'm not really super worried about that because I'm not going to be sitting there. Now, you can make this top pretty much as big as you want. I'm making just a little top, just enough room for me to get up, 
climb up the ladder, turn around, and then sit down on it. I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of standing or anything like that. Um, not for this. I mean, I shoot a crossbow, so I don't need to stand up and do a lot of crazy stuff. So this is my top. I'm going to go ahead. I'll cut this first. And then once that's cut, I'll go ahead and then zip down the edge. Um, actually, before I do that, let me backtrack. I'm going to put two holes here. Uh, I'll drill one on either side. And what that's going to be is I'll run my rope through it and use that to wrap around the back of the tree. And, uh, and I'll be good to go. So actually, let me get my paddle bit and I'll drill these two holes quick. Then I'll cut this section out here at my circular saw and then I'll just zip up the edge. So here's our finished top. I got this cut. Again, here's my the notch for the trees are going to go, and I have my two holes. I just used a half-inch paddle bit, and I came six inches off of the peak on either side. And like I said, that's where we're going to be tying into the tree here using our rope. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the frame built for this, and we'll put the frame on it. And then once the frame's attached, we'll go ahead, get the top on, and then I'll be ready to hang it. Okay, so I got all my boards cut, and this is going to be the frame that the plywood is going to sit on. I got 32 cross for the front and back, 18 and a half on the sides here. I'm going to do four boards, and uh, then once I get these, bo these bottom part put together, I'll go ahead and put the plywood on top of it. And once that's done, I'll get it tacked up on the ladder. And let me get the camera flipped around here and show you guys what I'm talking about. <music> So this is how the top is going to be. I have, uh, I have my board running across here. Give me a little extra support when I put my rope through here. Just give me a little extra bite to go across the back. And it's going to sit on top just like that. This will be my face. And I'll just this will be where I sit. And I'll have good sturdy support here when it's up in the tree. And pretty much how, this is gonna, how I measured this out is these are going to sit on the outside of the ladder here. So I'll go ahead and doop doop, I'll throw screws in here on either side of that, connecting to that. And then I'll do one more support coming down on an angle just to give the back of this some extra support. But let's go ahead and get this screwed in here. And uh, then we can start assembling. I'll just have to cut the legs and we'll be good to go. got this bolted in here to the legs what I'm doing now is I'm putting on my extra supports I'll go ahead and just flush that up here once I have these on um, but just pretty much just putting some screws in here and I put a couple in here and I'll do the same on the other side just to get that extra support so this top doesn't loose at all all right so here's the finished product uh, this is kind of how everything turned out um, and now what I'm going to do here is paint this. What I got over here is just varying levels of paint. This is the uh, 
camo rust-oleum you buy this at walmart they're like five dollars a can now they used to be a couple bucks but you know price has gone up and what i'm going to do here is just start dark and just kind of work my way lighter as i go so uh get you guys set up here and i'll start painting <laughs> So this is what I got for the finished product here. Uh, went with the OD green as my base. Then use the lighter colors to just try to break up the outline and then use some some uh, FDE just to kind of simulate some vines. I have a lot of vines in the area where I'm putting this stand up at. I mean, you could get really buck wild here with your color schemes and your camo and how, how crazy you want to go with it. But I just wanted something simple just to kind of break up the outline of it and nothing super flashy but this was a really fun project i really enjoyed it it was kind of cool just to be like you know what i'm gonna make a tree stand i've like i said before i've uh pretty much religiously used these when i am hunting public property just because if something happens sticky fingers someone decides i want to take it you know you're out a couple bucks versus you know 100 200 for a climber or like a really good metal stand and um like i mentioned before you know you could use two by fours if you're doing a smaller stand like an eight footer something like that will work uh but anything over eight feet i'd say definitely start using two by sixes because your legs will start to bend um then one i guess you could say disclaimer for this is um you know do this at your own risk uh if you're not confident with woodworking or anything like that you know find somebody who does because you know the last thing i want is to see someone out there or hear a story or something like that you know someone watched this video they went and built a stand and then the stand fell apart on them so making sure make sure you're using good quality lumber make sure you're using good uh screws and stuff like that i was using two and a half inch uh like framing screws that are gonna have really nice good bite to them uh so just make sure you're using good quality stuff but i hope you learned something i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll catch you next time <laughs>